Hey guys, my son called me. He lives in a different state. He was going to have to fill out some Obamacare papers today. And he was worried that the government might shut down. I had to explain to him, this is just an illusion, son, the government itself. They don't shut down. Your taxes still come out. Your excise taxes, your gas tax, your tax for this. There's a tax on your utility bill. There's a tax on everything. You're enslaved to the taxes. No more taxes, not in my name. No more wars for Netanyahu or anybody else, not in my name. We need to start taking care of one another. We need to boot these people out of Washington, D.C. faster than we would get rid of cockroaches. I mean, seriously, if you had a cockroach problem, wouldn't you be putting some kind of bug stuff down trying to get rid of them? It's time to get rid of them. And that means they may have to move out of Washington, D.C. I have to, to talk to my representative, or any of them, who are supposed to represent me in Washington, D.C. I have to talk to someone else who's going to leave them a message. There's always a middleman. I'm sure there's a tax on that middleman. we got to pay their salary. Does my message ever get to my representative? Well, hell no. They're all corporate engines. They do whatever the illusion and the people behind the scenes tell them to do, the lobbyists. But yet we'll still pay the taxes even if the illusion of the government shutting down to scare the American people. It's an illusion. You guys do know that, right? If you're still having to pay taxes, somebody's taking that money. So that's an illusion. Let's break the illusion. Shatter that illusion. No tax, not in my name. Not ever again. When you go buy gas, you tell them people, no tax, not in my name. We're not gonna, we're not gonna continue doing this. Anywhere you go, start saying that. I'm gonna tell a little small story. A little town down the road here. They, um, it's, it's the little town's really small, and it's just elderly people. They started making them get little garbage cans, even though most of them's kids picked their garbage up for them and took them to their house. And, and some of the older people approached me in the post office because they knew I was kind of an activist. And they asked me to come to the meeting, uh, city council meeting. And I did. But I had done my homework because I knew the city had to be making money if they were trying to enforce this policy on the people. So I called the little garbage company and asked how much is the city making. And they freely told me $5 a can. It's costing these individuals $100 a month out of their little check they get. They're all retired old folks, like I said, barely making it week to week. So I presented what I had found out, and the mayor tried to tell me it wasn't true, although I had the documentation, and the people got scared. So it was me versus the mayor, because they all stood down and were afraid. But I wasn't afraid. And I don't know if they still have to pay that tax. I haven't really been back. Actually, when I go, they all go to a closed-door meeting. I made some kind of difference there. They won't talk in front of me. So, see, if I can't talk to even the local politicians, there's a problem. There seems to be a tax even on garbage cans. That's just quite wrong, isn't it? If your children are picking up your, your garbage. No tax, not in my name. That White House should be emptied out. I agree. Shut that government down. Obama, pack your bags. We don't need a CEO to run us anymore. To extort all this tax money. All you people. The lobbyists, go home. Because we don't subscribe to most of these corporations. Everybody I know has... I actually know some smart people who, who are really creative. And they're all into making free energy and stuff. We need to start exploring those ideas. We need to get away from the extortionists, the liars, the thieves, the controllers, the ones who put this illusion up that without them, everything falls. Let's stop this. Let's grow up. Let's act like adults. No tax and no war. Not in my name. I will send this to Washington, D.C. like I did no war, not in my name. And I got a response back from Obama's little office because... They actually had to watch, or the computer had to watch a little bit of it, because it actually gave, um, it's probably a computer, I'm sure, that picked out words like no, war, and, and tried to present me with the reason why we needed to go to war. Um, 
However, the little guys or the little gals here in Washington State who were supposed to represent me, actually, I said sarin gas had fluoride in it. This is when I got back. If I want fluoride in my water, I can go ask the dentist. Then he'll give me oral fluoride, sodium fluoride tablets. I was like, God, they don't get it. So, um, you see, it's probably a computer program. Like everything's a program. The TV programs you. I'm just saying, if we had no taxes and no wars, not in our name, we could take our power back. We can be free. We could not be enslaved anymore. Wouldn't that be wonderful to be able to go fishing without paying for a license? Or driving without a license? I mean, why do you need a license to drive? I, I do understand why you need to know how to drive, but why do you need to pay all these fines? And if you don't get your license changed over from another state and to this state within 15 days, you know what you can get in this state? You can get three months in jail and a thousand dollar fine. That's extortion. That's not freedom. That's a crime. That's their crime, not ours. No war, no tax, not in my name. Let that government shut down and let's shut them down. I'm with the truckers. I'm with everybody else who believes the empire system must fail. I say please remix this video and share it. Share it globally because nobody wants any more wars or no taxes. They all want the empires to fall. We need to get to humanity. We need for the future generations to clean this earth up. But the only way we can do that is to get rid of this empire system. Let's start standing on our power, peoples. This is our chance. They want to put an illusion before us. Let's break the illusion and say, close down. We're not paying taxes. We want you gone. The system doesn't work anymore. No wars, no taxes. Empires fall. Not in my name, nothing. None of this in my name anymore. I'm tired. I want to live one day free. Just two, three, four days free. I don't care. I just want to walk outside and know that something I'm doing isn't breaking one of their policies or code. codes. Okay? Please remix this and share this. No taxes or no wars. Not in my name. Netanyahu, he's, I hear he's over here trying to get us to start a war. Not in my name. Nobody's done nothing to us that I know of except the government. So I have a war with the government. I'm not a terrorist or anything. But I'm not, being ex I'm not letting them extort from me anymore. Next time I pay my bill, I'm going to scratch the tax part off and all the fees and stuff off and just pay the bill. That's what I'm going to do with everything. I think you should do it too. No war, no taxes, no fees, no license, not in my name. I'm a free human being. I don't need the empires. Peace, love, truth. We could get this going. Let's become free. Come on, humanity, step up. I love you all. Linda.